Let's start with privileges. Minor privileges. Grant local residents to scholar. Choose this option. Shock damage received. Religious diplomats. Now seize land. Hire military advisor. And set focus to military. By the way, if morale advisor is available, hire him. That's very important. As your rival choose Lampson, pick this taxation option. Ally Morocco and ally Tunis. Usually you can ally both of them. Usually you can. If you can't, just restart. Also I recommend to restart if Castile allies either Aragon or France. Now wait for one day, build Spanish on Clemson and wait until Morocco and Tunis send your Royal Marine proposal. For now, improve relations with Morocco. You can also send your merchant somewhere. I would collect from trade here in Safi. Yes, here we go, Royal Marriage. After you reach 150 relations, you will be able to finish this mission. Finish it, ask for military access from Morocco and hire pre company. Now transport all of your armies here. Here we go, 20 Spanish network, fabricate claim, let's improve relations with Ottomans, and also now you should be able to finish this mission. But here's one catch, don't just insult Castile, scornfully insult Castile, scornful insult. If you do it, you will get 100 tradition general and not 60. What I also recommend to do, I know it's a little bit unfair, not all of you will like this, but what I recommend to do is save game and finish this mission. Now let's see our general, actually not quite bad, but if he is bad you can just alt plus f4 and just finish this mission once again and choose better general. You really really need good general. Call in Morocco, promise some land, and now you need to be extremely careful. Let's wait until Morocco gets here. As you can see, this lock icon appears, that means that soon they will arrive. What I'm going to do now? I'm going to move my army here to this province to occupy it, to become attacker. Because if Morocco sieges it, then it will transfer it to itself. And you don't want this. You want to capture as many provinces as possible. Okay, now it's soon going to arrive here. I'll move this stack to this port, so I become attacker. Okay, it's very important to do this before Morocco, but not too early. Because if you do it too early, Clemson will attack your stack and Morocco won't be able to help you in time. As you can see, I am the attacker. You need to at least try to occupy this coast, that's the minimum. But the more provinces you get, the better it would be. Civil war. Don't worry about it, really, don't worry. The worst thing that can happen is that Morocco will detach its troops from siege and go and kill your rebels. I hope it won't, but it may. Okay, here we go. The siege is done, yes, it's going to kill my rebels. Let's imagine it doesn't go away. So what you should do, you should immediately move to this fort, you need to secure it, you need to become the attacker, and you need to conquer this province too, it's very important. And by the way, as you can see, we are running out of time. Ok, no one is going to help me, it seems, I don't have time to wait for them, let's just do this. It's really bad for my manpower, but it would be even worse if Castile declares on us. Truce with Castile has ended, that's what I was afraid of. Ok, soon I'll end this war. Ok, I will be risky, I will wait for a little more, I want more war score. And also I want Morocco to siege this fort for me. By the way, rebels not always spawn here, sometimes they may spawn here. I don't really know how it works, but well, sometimes they spawn here, sometimes here. Ok, here we go, let's peace out. Please Morocco, win, just a little more. Yes, here we go. Actually, actually, that's not the only outcome. There may be two other outcomes. First outcome is that there will be event where you can choose to install new ruler. He will be bad, but the civil war will immediately end. And another outcome is that you may let your rebels win and they will install a random leader. He may be bad, he may be good, but I think it's the best outcome. Now let's peace out. You need to make Morocco happy. It should be happy. It should like your peace deal. I will give it some provinces. Let's see. Maybe let's give it this province. 12 trust is okay, it shouldn't break alliance. The most important thing, Morocco shouldn't break alliance. As you can see, now we have some development. Let's core everything and ally Ottomans. Do it. Sometimes it's not possible, but most times it is. Castile won't declare on you if you have Ottomans as ally. So basically you have a few more years to prepare for war. Also start carrying favors with Morocco and Tunis. You need at least 10 favors. And also it's time to grant this privilege, it's very important, grant it, don't forget about it. You need to make sure everything goes smooth. Also I haven't had these events yet, but they exist, where you can choose between legalism and mysticism. Choose mysticism for morale of armies. Castile has plus 15 morale of armies from the start, and you need to somehow match it, you need to beat Castile. You need every advantage you can get, don't worry about loans, Castile will repay everything. Yes, events like this. Choose mysticism, always choose mysticism. New military technology. As soon as you research it, you should declare on Castile. Also I fired this advisor, let's fire him for good, take one loan, and here's what you should do. Ok, so I fired him, I'll save, ok, it's not morale of armies, so I'll just restart. If you have morale of armies, you can leave this advisor. If you don't, you need to get him. And finally here it is, it took quite a few restarts. But it's necessary, Tunis won't join us, cause it's at war, Ottomans won't either, 
but you need to declare as soon as possible. Like you just got new military technology, you declare. But first you need to enact this edict, defensive edict. And hide your forces somewhere here. Let's hide our ships here, behind this fort, and let's declare. Call in Morocco, take something that you can take, like this province, why not? I think that should be enough. Okay, select one stack, allow attach, that's important. Morocco should attach to you. Now I want you to look at these two forts. They're mountain forts. That means that if you fight on these forts, you will have very big advantage against Castile and their allies. As you can see, they attach to my army. Your goal here is not to siege, but to kill as many troops as possible. You need to drain Castile out of its manpower. Ok, good opportunity here, lonely stack, I will easily stack wipe it. Yes, as you can see, easy stack wipe. Be opportunistic of course, but try not a bit too risky. You only have one chance here. So as you can see, this stack is quite far away from this stack and that means that I can easily kill it. If you see something like this, you use this opportunity. You are very powerful right now, but you need to be smart about it. Ideal situation would be if Castile only has Portugal as a lie, and you could call in Tunis. Then this war will be extremely easy, like extremely easy. Remember that you're a stack wipe machine, especially if you have very good general. Stack wipe is a stack wipe. But still, be careful, if you see that a lot of enemies are nearby, try to get defensive position or just run away. So they're running away, but I still will stand here, because I need to protect this stack from being wiped out, because I really need this fort. Ok, here we go, now it should be easy. This war should be easy. Now that we have full Morocco army, we can be bolder. Even though we were on mountains, still very easy win. Naval invasion? Oh no. Ok, let's kill, let's kill. As you can see, Venice is too far away from them, so it would be easy to wipe. Another easy to wipe. So Castile is already out of manpower. Even if they get new military technology, it won't matter. And I still have full manpower. And here it is, mountain fort, they're in trap. As you can see, mountains are your friends. And now let's stack wipe Venetian army. Let's wait for Alok to appear. Yes, like this, it doesn't have any morale, so it's easy stack wipe. Ok, win but barely, yes. When Castile gets a fourth military technology, it becomes a lot more difficult to fight it. That's why I said to declare as soon as possible. Ok Castile, that was very stupid idea, extremely stupid idea. Ok, let's occupy this province finally, so I get some war score. Morocco wants to be south, so I think I'll help it. I need to kill these rebels, and I'll do. Ok, now they won't be south. Ok Castile, again, that was very stupid. And don't let them occupy this province, you really need it so you can cross this strait. Venice is at war against Ottomans and it means that it will soon piss out. And let's continue sieging. I will let Castile siege this province, because I want to occupy it for myself, I don't want to give it to Morocco. Ok, here we go, just need to siege this fort and I think I'll be able to piss out. This war actually was relatively easy. The most important thing is to strike as soon as you get 4th military technology. It's the biggest advantage that you will have. 4th military technology will decide if you will stack like Castile or not. And also you might think that it's very advanced strat, it's very difficult. Not really. It's really easy to replicate if Castile is allied only to Portugal, without Venice, without England, only Portugal. It's first. And second, if Tunis is willing to join you. If those two conditions are met, and they're met fairly often, it's extremely easy to beat Castile. So what should we take in peace deal? Money. Obviously you're quite poor and you need to pay out some of your loans. Also what would I recommend? I would recommend taking La Manche and this province. Also I would recommend taking Sevilla and Hoelva, because first Sevilla is train center and you need both Hoelva and Sevilla to form Andalusia. But Morocco occupied it, so I can't, but if you can't take it, I'll take this province so I can easily attack Aragon. Maybe, maybe let's not take this province and take war reparations. War reparations are very good too. Coalition won't fire because there are only 3 nations, I'll get a lot of money, this would pay out half of my loans, and I will get more reparations. I'll build spine network on Zap. Also I think I'll carry favors from Ottomans. And also I forgot to tell you one important thing, it's that you can make Portugal co-belligerent. I didn't because of RNG, and because it's allied with England, but you can. If you can, you may do it. Ok, now let me explain why I said to take these provinces. This province, I don't know why I'm making its core, but it's a core of Leon. Let's release it. So you will be able to reconquer some land, for almost no aggressive expansion. Well, this province is Gold province. Ok, I wasn't quick enough. Tune is already declared on Zap. Also, I think I'll delete one fort somewhere. I think here. It's not very useful, because I need money. By the way, I might call in Ottomans in war against Aragon. I think I'll even do. Also, I'm improving relations with outraged countries. Remember, it's extremely important to always have the latest military technology. Ok, let's do it. It will be an extremely extremely easy win. In my experience, Ottomans usually agree to help you against Aragon. Sometimes against Castile too, but usually against Aragon. I won't even do anything, I'll just let Ottomans do their work. So I think it's time to piss out, I'll take these provinces and this province. I'll explain you why. So let's take money and war reparations. Not 100 for score, but still aggressive expansion, 
exists, unfortunately. I took this province as well, first because I need them to restore El Andalus, and second, I took this province just to deny France Aragon, so other release Catalonia, and by the way, for future conquests. Release Catalonia, in the next war I'll feed it some provinces, and now France shouldn't declare on Aragon. Well, it may declare on Navarra, but not on Aragon. Also, by the way, I forgot about it, but I think I should abdicate our ruler, because he is very, very bad. And also, by the way, extremely important thing, if you see that Aragon is under PU of Castile, crush the game, it's very, very bad. Okay, here we go. I've built some troops, military technology, so I can clean Ottomans. I would even say that I can clean everyone. Let's ask to prepare for war, and I'll declare with Reconquest CB. Even if you can't clean Ottomans, you still have advantage without Ottomans. With Ottomans it would be just a slaughter. Okay, let's pass out Venice. Okay, let's pass out Portugal. Maybe war reparations. Yes, war reparations, maybe money. A little bit. Okay, don't forget about aggressive expansion. Okay, I cord these provinces, and now I can click this. Well, now we have this awesome mission tree. What to do now? Obviously, kill off Argon, kill off Castile, if you haven't yet take this province from Portugal, and also you need to conquer Morocco and Tunis. That might be difficult. Well, it depends on RNG, if you allied them both at the start, even if they become rivals, they won't break alliance with you. So in theory they may be rivals, and you will be able to break alliance with Morocco and going to Tunis to help. Or you may need to beat them both. But still, sooner or later you'll need to beat them. If it's easier than conquering whole Spain, do it. If it's easier to first conquer Spain and then North Africa, conquer Spain. As for your RTS group, obviously first and second one may be exploration and expansion for colonization, or you may take first diplomatic, second administrative or religious if you want to focus on conquest and not colonization. Hope you like this video, hope this guide is clear, if you liked it please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day!